Hurtling from the vast, dark expanse between the stars, Three Eye Atlas was a rare visitor to our cosmic neighborhood. This object is only the third confirmed interstellar traveler ever detected. It's a comet carrying the primordial ices and dust from an entirely different unknown star system. For millions of years, it's journeyed through the galactic void before swinging by our sun, giving astronomers an incredible opportunity to study the building blocks of another solar system. As this ancient alien relic got closer, the sun's intense heat caused it to dramatically fragment and fade, providing a spectacular show that offered precious clues about its mysterious origins. This is the story of Three Eye Atlas. Let's get spooky. Hey, spooky people, it's your best friend, Kenny, and we are back with another spooky, disturbing story. Before we get to today's story, let's make sure that you are subscribed to this channel, The Spooky Lawyer. Let's make sure that you like and share this video. Share this video with your neighbor that's always watching you with a telescope, so it gives them something else to watch, right? In July 2025, astronomers discovered Three Eye Atlas, a visitor from outside our solar system. And this was a huge moment for science, for astronomy, for the Earth. It's only the third interstellar object ever found, and it gives us a treasure trove of new information, changing how we think about how planets form across the galaxies. Right away, astronomers knew Three Eye Atlas was special because of its path. It's moving incredibly fast, around 1,340,000 miles per hour, or 60 kilometers per second. And its orbit is so stretched that it's clear it's not trapped by our sun's gravity. It's just passing through. This high speed tells us it's probably very old and has probably been traveling through space for billions of years. By tracing its path backwards, scientists believe it came from the Milky Way's thick disk, a region of very old stars. This means Three Eye Atlas could be older than our own solar system. When the James Webb Space Telescope looked at the light from Three Eye Atlas, it saw something strange. The fuzzy cloud of gas and dust around it, which is called a coma, is full of carbon dioxide. In fact, it has one of the highest amounts of carbon dioxide ever seen in a comet. And this is a major clue about where it was born, suggesting it formed in a very cool part of its home star system. When compared to the other two interstellar visitors we found, the mysterious Oumuamua and the more normal looking comet T.I. Borisov, it's clear that these objects are all very different from each other. This tells us that the small bodies floating between the stars are incredibly diverse. The discovery of Three Eye Atlas was made possible by modern automatic sky surveys. In fact, the, the new Vera C. Rubin Observatory happened to take pictures of it before it was even officially discovered. This is a sign of things to come. Soon, finding these interstellar visitors will go from being a once-in-a-lifetime event to a regular occurrence. Three Eye Atlas could be one of many visitors to our solar system that opens up a new era of astronomy, allowing us to study the building blocks of other worlds. The discovery of Three Eye Atlas was a perfect example of how modern astronomy works using automated telescopes, a global team of scientists, and a bit of detective work in old photo archives. On July 1st, 2025, Three Eye Atlas was spotted in the sky by the Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, or ATLAS, telescope in Chile. It was very faint and temporarily named A11PL3Z. What made it stand out was its movement. The Atlas computer system is designed to flag anything with a strange path, and this object's trajectory showed it wasn't orbiting our sun. This sent an automatic alert to astronomers around the world, kind of like a, a space amber alert including the European Space Agency, which kicked off a global effort to learn more about what this object was. The discovery was sent to the Minor Planet Center, the official organization for tracking objects like this. Because its path was so unusual, the MPC put it on a special webpage to ask astronomers everywhere to take a closer look. This led to a rush of observations from both professional and amateur sky watchers. Think of it as like someone making a great post on Twitter and everyone has to go and see what it's all about. A big breakthrough came through the next day on July 2nd, 2025. Telescopes in Chile, Arizona, and Hawaii all took pictures that showed that the object had a faint coma around it and maybe even a small tail. This meant it was a comet, a comet on a path that was taking it out of our solar system could only mean one thing. It was from interstellar space. On July 2nd, the MPC made it official. The object was given two names, Three Eye Atlas, recognizing it as the third interstellar object ever found, and C-2025 NY Atlas. Its official name is a comet, honoring the Atlas survey that found it. To be absolutely sure about its path, astronomers need to know where it had been. They started a process called Precovery, searching the archives of old sky photos to find the object before it was officially discovered. And this search 
was a massive success. They found pictures of it in data from the Zwicky Transient Facility from as early as July 14th, 2025. Even earlier images were found in data from NASA's test satellite, which had seen it between May and June 2025. The most important before pictures came from the new Vera C. Rubin Observatory. During a test run, it had taken high-quality photos of the 3 i atlas between June 21st and July 3rd, 2025. If the observatory had started its test just two weeks earlier, it would have been the first to discover it. This is a powerful sign that once the Rubin Observatory is fully operational, finding interstellar objects will become much more common. You can't just chalk up the discovery of the 3 i atlas to just plain luck. It was the result from a system built for protecting the Earth from asteroid impacts. ATLAS stands for the Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Blast Alert System. It's an early warning system created by the University of Hawaii and paid for by NASA. The system uses four robotic telescopes located around the world. Two in Hawaii, one in South Africa, and one in Chile. This setup allows ATLAS to scan the entire night sky every 24 hours so there are no blind spots. Its main job is to find small asteroids that might be on a collision course with Earth. It's designed to give us a last alert. Anywhere from a few days of warning for a small asteroid to a few weeks for a larger one. This gives people time to prepare and get the hell out. Atlas is all about speed and automation. Each telescope scans its part of the sky four times a night. A powerful computer then compares the images looking for anything that moved against the background of the stars. If it finds a moving object, it calculates its path. It checks to see if it's one of hundreds of thousands of known asteroids. If it's a new one, the information is immediately sent to the Minor Planet Center and NASA's hazard assessment team. This allows astronomers all over the world to track the object and see if it's a threat. Because the system is built to find anything that moves, it's perfectly situated to find interstellar visitors, whose speed and path make them stand out. While its main job is to protect our planet, ATLAS has also become a powerful tool for all kinds of science. By looking for anything that moves or changes in brightness, it has discovered over 100 comets and nearly 5,000 exploding stars. This shows how a project with a practical goal can lead to amazing scientific discoveries. The money spent to protect the Earth is also helping us explore the universe. The discovery of 3 i Atlas is a perfect example of this, where a mission to protect our home opened a new window to worlds far beyond it. The path of 3 i Atlas is the proof that it came from another star system. Scientists have studied its orbit to learn where it came from, and also get clues about how long it's been traveling through our galaxy. The key feature of 3 i Atlas's journey is its hyperbolic trajectory. This is a scientific way of saying it's on a one-way trip. Objects with this kind of path have too much energy to be caught by the sun's gravity. They will fly through our solar system once and never return. The stretchiness of its orbit, which is sometimes called eccentricity, to give some context, a perfect circle is zero and a closed orbit is one. So this is not orbiting. The eccentricity is much higher than that of the first two interstellar visitors, Oumuamua, which was around 1.2, and 2i Borisov, which is around 3.36. This tells us that 3i Atlas is passing through with an enormous amount of extra energy a clear sign that it's on a long journey through the galaxy. The extra energy shows up in its speed. 3i Atlas is zipping through our solar system at about 60 kilometers per second, or 134 miles per hour relative to the sun. This is faster than any interstellar visitor we've ever seen. It's more than twice as fast as Amuramura and significantly faster than the T.I. Borisov. Its incredible speed couldn't have come from a gravitational boost from planets like Jupiter. It's a speed the object has built up over billions of years traveling through the Milky Way. As it's moved through the galaxy, it was gently nudged by the gravity of giant clouds of gas and other stars, a process that slowly pumped up its speed. This is the main clue that tells us that 3i Atlas must be incredibly old. We know the exact path that 3i Atlas is taking. When it was discovered on July 1st, 2025, it was about 670 million kilometers or 420 million miles from the sun. It will make its closest approach to the sun in late October, 2025, passing just inside the orbit of Mars. It poses no danger to Earth, so you should be happy or sad depending on whether you wanted Earth to be hit by an asteroid. The closest it will get to Earth is about 240 million kilometers, or 150 million miles. Astronomers will be able to study it until September 2025 when it gets too close to the sun in our sky. It will reappear in early December 2025, giving us another chance to watch as it heads back out into deep space. The direction that 3i Atlas is coming from is also interesting. It arrived from the direction of the constellation Sagittarius, which is toward the center of our galaxy. This is different from the first two visitors, which came from the direction our sun is moving. Arriving from the direction of the sun's motion is what you'd expect, like running into a headwind of space objects. 3i Atlas has come in from the side of the galaxy, which is less likely, and scientists consider this peculiar. While it could be just a coincidence, it might also mean that our ideas about how interstellar objects are spread throughout our galaxy need to be updated. Using telescopes all over the world, scientists have started to piece together a picture of what 3i Atlas is like. They figured out its size, 
confirmed it's a comet, and most importantly, discovered what it's made of, giving us a direct look at the building blocks of a distant and ancient star system. From the very beginning, it was clear that 3I Atlas is an active comet. It has the fuzzy cloud of gas and dust around it, the coma and it started to form a tail. This activity started when it was still very far from the sun, which means it has ice on its surface that turned to gas easily. At first, scientists thought it might be huge, maybe up to 12 miles across, but this was probably because the bright coma made the solid center look bigger than it actually is. Better observations, especially from the Hubble Space Telescope, have given us a more accurate size. It's likely no bigger than 3.5 miles across and is likely even smaller than a kilometer. Even so, this makes 3I Atlas the largest interstellar object we've ever seen. The most exciting discoveries come from studying the light from 3I Atlas to see what it's made of. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope provides an incredible detailed look at the gases in its coma. The biggest surprise was that the coma was full of carbon dioxide gas. In fact, it has about eight times more carbon dioxide than water which is one of the highest ratios ever seen in a comet. This large amount of CO2 ice is what's causing the comet to be so active and bright so far from the sun. This unique chemistry is a clue about where it came from. In the disk of gas and dust where planets form, different materials freeze at different distances from the star. Carbon dioxide freezes in colder, more distant regions than water. So an object that is super rich in carbon dioxide probably formed far from its planet star in a very cold place. This is like a form of interstellar archaeology, giving us a physical clue about how a planet formed in a, another solar system. While CO2 is the main agreement, scientists have found other chemicals in the coma of 3 I Alice as well. There is water, but much less of it compared to the CO2. There is carbon monoxide, which is another ice that turns to gas easily. They've also found molecules like cyanide and even nickel vapor in amounts similar to comets from our own solar system. The dust in the coma gives it a reddish color, which is also similar to many comets from our outer solar system. This is another idea why it has so much CO2. Its journey through space for billions of years would have exposed it to high energy cosmic rays. This constant radiation could have cooked its surface, changing its chemistry and creating a shell rich in CO2. Figuring out whether it was born this way or changed over time is one of the big questions scientists are trying to answer. The discovery of 3 Atlas gives us the third vital piece of a puzzle. By comparing it to the first two interstellar visitors, Oumuamura and TI, one thing has become clear. The small bodies wandering our galaxy are much stranger and wonderful than we had expected. Each visitor has been unique, showing us how many different ways planetary systems can form. The first three confirmed interstellar objects Oumuamura, which was found in 2017, Borisov, which was found in 2019, and now 3I Atlas, which was found in 2025, give us a small but fascinating group to study. When we compare them, we find more differences and similarities. This suggests that they are not from a single uniform population, but more like refugees from different star systems with their own unique and chaotic histories. The most basic difference is that Oumuamura is still a puzzle. It looked like a rock, but it sped up as if it were a comet releasing gas, though no gas was seen. Both Borisov and Atlas, on the other hand, are clearly active comets with fuzzy comas and tails. 3 i Atlas is in a class of its own when it comes to its speed. Its incredible velocity and strange path point to it being much older and coming from the galaxy's ancient thick disk. Oumuamura and Borisov are thought to be younger and from the thin disk, the same part of the galaxy as our sun. The chemistry of all three are completely different. Oumuamura seemed to be a dry rock. Borisov was similar to comets in our solar system, but had a lot of carbon monoxide. 3I Atlas is also unique with its huge amount of carbon dioxide. These three very different objects show that we can't have a single simple idea of what an average interstellar object is like. This means that when we look for more of them, we have to be ready for anything and for future missions that might fly out to meet one, like SA's Comet Interceptor, they have to be prepared for a target with completely unknown properties. The discovery of 3i Atlas is like getting a physical sample from the deep history of our galaxy, giving us real world proof for our ideas about how planets form and how space gets filled with these wandering worlds. The most important thing we've learned about 3i Atlas is that it's incredibly old. Its high speed and unique path mean that it likely came from Milky Way's thick disk, which is a region of a galaxy filled with older stars, typically between seven and 11 billion years old. This means 3i Atlas is likely an ancient object, possibly 7 billion years or even older. This would make it much older than our own 4.6 billion year old solar system. It's a leftover piece from a planetary system that formed in the early days of our galaxy. Because it's a physical object from such an old system, 3i Atlas is like a time capsule giving us a real sample of the building blocks of planets from a long gone era. Its unique CO2 rich makeup gives us information about the materials and conditions in a planet forming disk that existed billions of years before ours did. The study of 3 Alice connects three different areas of science. For planet experts, it's a comet that tells us about the structure of planetesimals. 
For scientists who study the movement of stars, its path is a record of gravitational nudges over billions of years. And for scientists who study the chemistry of space, its light signature is a fossil record of the chemical environment in the early Milky Way. The fact that we're seeing objects like 3 Eye Atlas at all confirms a long-held idea. The process of making planets is messy and violent, and it kicks a huge number of leftover pieces out into the interstellar space. The main way this happens is through gravitational scattering. In the early chaotic days of our solar system, close passes between small objects and giant planets planets can act like a powerful gravitational slingshot, flinging the smaller bodies out of the system entirely. 3 Eye Atlas is a real-world example of the end result of this process. Finding an ancient object like 3 Eye Atlas also tells us that planet formation was happening early in the galaxy's history, and that these leftover pieces are tough enough to survive for billions of years in the harsh environment of space. This is important because it shows that the vessels that could carry the chemical building blocks of life between star systems are common and have been around for a very long time. Because these interstellar visitors are so strange, it's now natural for people to wonder if they could be alien technology. However, scientists around the world have looked at the evidence and agree on what it tells us. Everything that we've seen about 3 i Alice is explained by nature. Its path, the fuzzy coma of gas, and dust formed around it as, as it got closer to the sun, and its chemical makeup all point to it being a natural comet. There is no evidence to suggest it's anything artificial. So sorry, it's not a potential alien probe. But it is a messenger from our galaxy's distant past. The discovery of 3 Eye Atlas is an exciting point in astronomy. It's showing that the arrival of powerful new telescopes means that we are moving on from finding these interstellar visitors by chance to a, a time where we can study them systematically. And this will change everything, allowing us to learn about countless other worlds across our galaxy. Finding these interstellar objects allows us to answer big questions, such as how many of these objects are there actually out there? What are their typical sizes? Are there more rocky, more amoral-like objects or more icy, comic-like ones? What are they made of? And this information will help us test and improve our ideas about how planets form across our galaxy. While telescopes will give us a lot of data from afar, the ultimate goal is to send a spacecraft to study one of these visitors up close. The European Space Agency's Comet Interceptor mission which is set to launch in 2029, is the first step in this direction. The plan is to park a spacecraft in space and have it wait for a good target to be discovered, either a brand new comet from our own solar system, or, if we're lucky, an interstellar object on a path we can reach. While the chances of this specific mission catching an interstellar object are low, it's a pioneering effort that will pave the way for future missions. The discovery of the first few interstellar objects has given us a powerful reason to develop this new technology. In turn, this technology will lead to more discoveries, which will lead to even better technology. We are at the beginning of an exciting cycle of discovery of outer space. 3 Eye Atlas is the third interstellar object ever found, and it's a messenger from the deep past of our galaxy, a physical piece of our planetary system that may have existed long before our sun was even born. Its incredible speed, ancient origins, and strange carbon dioxide-rich chemistry have shown us that there is no typical interstellar object. The discovery of 3 Atlas confirms our ideas about how planets are made and challenges our understanding of the variety of building blocks that exist in the cosmos. Its study has pushed the limits of what our telescopes can do and shown the power of global teamwork. We are at an exciting turning point. The era of being surprised by these rare visitors is ending, and a new organized systemic study is about to begin, thanks to the new tools we have, like the Verici Rubin Observatory. By turning these rare events into a steady stream of targets, we are opening a direct window to see how countless other worlds are formed across the Milky Way. Each new interstellar object is a priceless chance to study the raw materials of other stars and planets, bringing us one step closer to understanding our own place in the galaxy. Make sure that you're subscribed to this channel, The Spooky Lawyer. Make sure that you click like and share this video. Go ahead and follow me on Twitter, Blue Sky, and TikTok. My username is The Spooky Lawyer. If there's a spooky or disturbing story you'd like me to cover, leave a comment. Or if you like this video, leave a comment. Or if you're feeling shy, send me an email. My email address is thespookylawyer at gmail.com. If you'd like to support the channel, there is a link in the description to buy me a coffee. So buy me a coffee. Or you can become a member of this channel. For the $1.99 tier, you can get access to exclusive content, including exclusive videos, as well as early access to my videos before they're made public. Go ahead and join. $1.99. It's a good deal. I'm going to put the names of all the people who have donated to this channel here. And I'm going to put the names of all the members of this channel here. Thank you all very much. You also support me by clicking like, sharing, and continuing to watch my videos. And I really do appreciate that you watch my videos. And please stay spooky.